Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. I am Joe the Lego Guy, and this is the Harry Potter Hungarian Horntail Triwizard Challenge. Say that three times fast. It's a <laughs> bit of a mouthful. Uh, but that being said, this is probably going to be my favorite set of most likely the past few years. Uh, I mean, this was one of my favorite scenes from my favorite Harry Potter movie, which is in turn one of my favorite series. Um, but Goblet of Fire, always been my favorite movie, although not my favorite book. Favorite book would probably have to be uh, Order of the Phoenix, if I'm remembering correctly. It's been a while. But anyway, this has 265 pieces. It's 30 bucks. Um, so the price per piece count there is a little bit, eh, a little bit off. But that being said, you mainly buy this set because of the minifigures. It's got all four participating uh, wizards and witches in the Triwizard Tournament, uh, which is very surprising, quite honestly. I was not expecting them to put all four of the primary characters in here. But either way, let's go ahead and open this up, build it up, and take a look, see what we think. All right, so here we are. Here is everything in the set. Let's go ahead and move a couple of these things over a little bit. And we will take a look at each part individually, assess the value, and see if it's worth it for you to buy. Let's go ahead and start with the dragon, or the Hungarian horn tail. We'll take that off for a moment. And just kind of take a look at the actual, actual dragon. So, it's brick built. It's not like the older one was. Uh, the older one, I guess it was partially brick built, but not all that much. It was mostly larger parts, larger pieces. And I have to say, the older one, in my opinion, the original one was a little bit better. So just for reference, I'm not going to throw a picture up. I've just got a picture pulled up on the phone. Um, so it's just one large piece. Um, and this is obviously not my primary phone. This is a, a secondary one. But the old one was just one large piece with some horns and a couple little minor, minor builds there. So... In that way, it was much more easy to deal with, easy to handle, uh, but it looked a lot more like a Fisher Price toy, <laughs> in my opinion, rather than uh, rather than actually a Lego form. So this one is a lot better in that way, but this one is also a lot more fragile. Oh, see, exactly. I mean, it just <sighs> every time. The the tail tends to fall off very easily, uh, and so do some pieces on the head. So it's not great for playability, but this one is much better for display. So the wings are super cool, though. Those are awesome. And then the face with the fire and all that good stuff. Pretty pretty cool, but ultimately just not, not the most sturdy. You also have to, uh, you kind of have to maneuver it around and basically have the tail hold it up so it can stand correctly which is minorly frustrating as I'd like to have the tail uh, like flying in the air. Uh, but that being said, it does have this little, little tiny, <laughs> tiny side build um, that's just a couple of plates, a couple of like cheese slope pieces um, and stuff like that. The only good part about the side build really is the egg. So it is just a uh, Lego egg piece there, just in gold. So that part is super nice. I love the golden egg. I liked the old one though, where it had the magnetic feature. Um, like in the uh, in the first set, there was a little magnet built into it, and then Harry was holding the, like a little stick piece that had another magnet on it, so he could actually pick it up. It was very very cool. Um, but anyway, I like the design. I like the the whole like cooler dragon look of it. But honestly, just not a fan of the way it falls apart and the way the tail has to hold it up. So moving into the second build here, we've got the tent, which that's a nice addition. We did not have that in the first one. Um, maybe I'll, uh, if I can get a hold of the older one, I'll do a quick comparison on them and see which one is ultimately better and better for the price. But I do love this tent. I love the symmetry on it. It's very, very cool, very nice all the slopes and like the flat edges here. Just really cool. I don't know why they have this little grass piece there. That makes 
just literally no sense to me at all. But anyway, so the tent actually opens, so you can kind of look around, play around with it and stuff. They do have the sticker, the uh, stickers for the three different competing schools, so that's very, very nice. And then it's got a little drawer with a potion on it, or a dresser with a potion on it, excuse me. And then a little table for eating, and then the other part I do not understand. Why do they have a bed? Why, why, is there, why is there a bed in the tent? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, they only stood in the tent for five minutes while the other contestants uh, actually took the egg from their dragon and then they moved on. So I'm not sure why they, they included a bed in this one, but oh well, either way to each his own. So let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. All right, guys, so here are the four minifigures. We'll start over here with this one. Uh, being Victor Crumb. Nothing too special about this guy, although I am super happy that we got uh, that we got him in this wave, as well as all four major contestants in the Triwizard Tournament. I think that is absolutely awesome. So, I mean, he's got decent, decent printing, both on the front and the back of the torso. No leg printing, no arm printing. I mean, pretty standard. Uh, and then I always keep him on his mean face, because his other face is very happy, and he is never, ever happy in the movies. But he's got, like, the short, curled black hair, um, much like, uh, man, I always forget his name, um, but the, the, the one dude, this dude, from, uh, um, from the collectible minifigure series. Same hair, but this one is in brown, and, and Victor Crumbs is in black. So if you get a bunch of, if you get a bunch of this guy, just have just build a custom stand and then have a billion of him, um, but just switch out the heads and the hands for other minifigures. Just have them sitting in the stands cheering on Harry um, or yeah, I guess any of the other ones. Anyway, our next figure here is going to be Cedric Diggory. And this one is much, much better uh, as far as the face print than the, um, the one for the collectible minifigure series, which again is right here. Although I do like the yellow, the yellow torso here, and then the yellow stripes, uh, very movie accurate and everything, but I've, I've gone through that already. And this would go a lot better with the graveyard set rather than this one. So he's got some very nice detailing on the robes here. Um, so obviously it's the uh, yellow ones printing on the legs, and then his face is much better because uh, he actually has the front and back face. So he's a he's a bit more concerned or angry in that one, but I'll I'll leave it on the happy face since he's a lot more happy in the movie than Victor Crumb probably ever was in his life. <laughs> Our next minifigure on the list is Fleur Dilliker. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not totally positive. I'm probably probably butchering that. But again, no arm printing, no leg printing again, um, so that's a minorly upsetting, but I'm really not too worried about it. Uh, anyway, another one of the major four contestants, very nice gold and blue printing on the torso. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of kind of metallic um, right around the, the B symbol there. Uh, so anyway, her head, I, I mean, fairly, fairly accurately represents the character, but I think they could have done a little bit better. And then you've got the scared face as well. Uh, obviously, we never saw any of those first three contestants uh, fight their dragon in the movie, which I kind of wish we'd, we'd seen. That would have been awesome. We just saw, saw Harry, who is our last minifigure, and the only one with mid-legs. So, I mean, even Harry at full height in, like, the, the seventh movie, um, since they split the last one into, into two movies... He should still have mid legs. He's he's pretty short as as a person, um, but anyway, I really like his outfit here with the dark red, the uh, the Hogwarts symbol there, um, and then he has the Laloid hair in black, which I thought was kind of kind of interesting, quite honestly, um, because if we look at the one from the night bus and stuff like that, you're looking at the hair that uh, uh well I can't actually find it right now. Oh, there's one. So we were looking at that hair. 
Whereas now we've got the Laloid hair that's much more, um, I guess it doesn't look so little kiddish. And neither does the face, which is a very, very good thing. Um, but so he's got the more angry or stern face and then his happy face as well. But I'm glad that they brought in the face that makes him look a little bit more adult and a little bit more uh, his actual age rather than like seven, like in the first movie. Well, technically 11, but either way. Um, and then the only one that they gave a broom to, obviously, because nobody else had the broom, was Harry. So the you've got the regular broom piece um, and then one of these little little things fixed on it, so I guess he has, has room to, to put his his feet or something. Ah, wow, these brooms are, are the, the worst. I don't like the, the plastic used for them. Very, very hard to get in the minifigure's hands. But anyway, so he can just kind of be chilling like that, running away from his dragon, running away from his problems, as we all do. But uh, anyway... So let me know what you guys think of the set. I personally really, really like it. I think the designs of the minifigures are just absolutely fantastic. And I actually enjoyed the set so much that I bought a second one just in case I do need to make a second dragon or use them for other parts of my, of my display and don't want them all just chilling here by the tent. But anyway, very, very good value in my opinion. 30 bucks, you get the four primary figures. The dragon is, eh, you know, so-so. And then the tent, the tent is cool, but I still don't understand the bed. It just doesn't make any logical sense. Just, oh well, I won't get into that. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you want to see any specific videos. And until next time, I will talk to you later.